It's week 100 of Zur, so I'm going to give you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendation for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 100 of Zur. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then definitely go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, and follow me on Twitter. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, Zur is located on Nessus, at the Watcher's Grave, and most likely he'll be on the ship. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? Wait, hold on. Let me finish my tweet. So, like always, we're gonna go ahead and start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Colony, uh, which is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have the ACD Zero Feedback Fence for the Titan, the Shards of Galanor for the Hunter, as well as the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock. Let's go ahead and start with the weapon of the week, which is the Colony, and trying to perk on this as it is, Insectoid Robot Grenades, which fires Insectoid Robot Grenades that chase targets and explode in close proximity. Then we have Linear Compensator, High Velocity Rounds, Serve the Colony, which Insectoid Robot Grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from the reserves while the Colony is unequipped. And then we also have Composite Stock. Now, it doesn't come with any ornaments, but there are three. One is the Vest Silver. Then we have the sneak attack, as well as the colony, uh, XZ812. I actually like this one the best. Now it says catalyst. So if you guys don't have this, definitely go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a good exotic for PvP, uh, probably a 2 to 2.5 in PvP, but most likely like a 2.5 to tier 3 in PvE. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next exotic is the ACD Zero Feedback Fence for the Titan. Turn to perk on this is Fury Conductors, which melee kills uh, store explosive defensive energy. Then we have Pulse Rifle Loader, Sidearm Loader, Momentum Transfer, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And it also has an ornament called Endless Loot. And that's what it looks like. It looks pretty badass. So, this is definitely a good exotic for Titans in PvE as well as PvP. It's definitely going to get a 2 to 2.5 in both. So, next we have the Shards of Galanor for the Hunter. In terms of perk on this is Sharp Edges, which you... I'm sorry. Which you get super energy from Blade Barrage hits and kills. This is exciting. Then we have... Uh, Bow Reloader, Enhanced Impact Induction, Enhanced uh, Hand Cannon Loader, Rocket Launcher Scavenger, as well as uh, Sniper Rifle Scavenger. That's pretty interesting. Both of them are enhanced. It's better than the ones I have. And then we also have the ornament for it, which is the Blue to Steel, which pretty much makes it look normal and new. It's pretty interesting. I like it. So, if you guys do not have the Shards of Galanor, definitely go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a Tier 2 in PvE and PvP. Some would argue that it's not as good as it used to be, or still isn't good. But, I still like using the uh, Shards of Galanor, especially in PvP. So, definitely go ahead and grab this. Actually, comparing this to my Shards... It actually has one up on me. The only difference is mine has Shotgun Loader with a Heavy Ammo Finder and a Shotgun Scavenger. Actually, I take that back. Mine's probably better. <laughs> Next, we have the uh, Chromatic Fire. Try to perk on this is Crystalline uh, Transistors, which Kinetic Precision Kills create Elemental Explosions. Then we have Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim. Unflinching Hand Cannon Aim, and Unflinching Sniper Rifle Aim, or Sniper Aim. Then we have Bow Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. 
and there's no ornament for this. So, this is an okay exotic. Um, definitely one of those gimmick exotics, so if you want to just go ahead and just get it, you can. But it is definitely not one of the top tier exotics out there, but it's not a bad exotic either. Um, I don't really see many people running around with this on because there are better Warlock exotics. And this is probably going to get a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvE, but probably just a tier 3 in PvP. Next we have your consumables, five of swords, and this gives you your nightfall challenge card. And then we have the invitations, from which I still don't do. And last but not least, we have your faded engram for 97 legendary shards. If you guys don't have one of these, go ahead and grab this first um, before popping a faded engram because you do have a chance to get one of these inside your faded engram and you don't want that to happen. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.